These days, it seems it's all about the technology and digital trends that makes things like ink and paper a bit retro. But the only independent bookstore in Baton Rouge is proving that one of the oldest mediums is still bringing people together. Elizabeth Vowell introduces us to Red Stick Reads in this week's Meet Your Neighbor. Just and you're just in time. Say hi! spots anywhere you want, dudes. It's Saturday morning at Red Stick Reads in Mid-City, Baton Rouge. I have Miss Violet over here and Miss Beanie over here. And it's time to gather around. I'm going to start with Blue Chameleon. This story time is one of the highlights of the week for store owners Terry and James Highfield. Oh, I got you, girl. And if you're surprised to see so many faces, old and young, crowding in to read a book, it's to keep her warm. You're not alone. Nobody is more surprised than my husband and I that people walk in the store, in the world of Amazon, in the world of big boxes, that people still walk through our little door. A small, independent bookstore thriving in a world dominated by screens sounds like, well, something out of a storybook. <gasps> Ooh, go the Highfields have certainly faced their share of conflicts, from switching careers to go all in on this dream of a bookstore to signing a lease on this space just as the pandemic hit. Nobody thought this was a good idea. You know, we just kind of kept putting one foot in front of the other. There was a tug that we just kept following. It felt like the right thing to do. Yes, okay. absolutely. It sounds great. After nearly five years in business, the store has built up a loyal following. First and foremost, we hope hope that the people who walk in here and know what they're looking for are going to find something that they're looking for. But I think we're more of the kind of bookstore where we may not necessarily have exactly what you're looking for and you're going to find something that you didn't know you were looking for. The couple says what many people are looking for is a community. My best friend. From book clubs to Dungeons and Dragons meetups to story time for kids. And he loves bananas. Red Stick Reads has tapped into a need for something tangible in this digital age. You know, starting this bookshop is sort of like planting our little flag in the sand, like this is still important. We need books from young to old. We need and we need to connect over books because reading other people's stories opens up conversations you just might not get anywhere else. It's time for little cows to sleep so tight. It may be time to close the book on today's story, but Terry and James say there's a spot on the rug anytime you're ready for that next read. So when people come in here, I hope that they get to experience something. I hope that they come in here and they're like, man, this is comfy and cozy and I like it. Elizabeth Vowell, WAFB 9 News. Red Stick Rees is located on Eugene Street in Mid-City, but the store will be moving by the end of the year. The owners say they're still looking for a new location, but they plan to stay in Mid-City.